What's going on, YouTube? I am back. This is Coach Fred. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Machine Mods. I'm Coach Fred and I'll be showing you guys how to prevent your car from being stolen. Now, uh, there has been a rise of car theft, especially in the gas station. I've seen videos where a lady's pumping her gas, somebody snuck in on the side door or the passenger door, they got in, uh, somehow and then they drove off with their car uh, with the lady's car another incident was she's pumping her gas or he was pumping his gas and then a guy pointed a gun asked for the key fob and then drove away with his car well this kill switch here is a battery disconnect so if you had this device in your car that can help prevent your car from being stolen so if you go to a gas station and you have this uh, battery disconnect, you turn on the, uh, actually, excuse me, off. So you pull them in the gas station and then you click off on this thing. It disconnects the battery to the, uh, from the car and the car will not start. And you can verify or confirm this by turning on your headlight. The headlight's not gonna turn on. Besides that, you'll see the dash is gonna be all black. And um, there's many ways to verify that the battery's already been disconnected. So you you get to the gas station, you feel that it's necessary for you to disconnect the battery. You turn on, your, uh, you get your remote, you click it you turn, uh, to off. The battery disconnects from the vehicle without you opening the hood just by using the remote control you can pump your gas if someone asks for your key you can give them your key or key fob run away from them for safety and then call the authorities you won't be able to run away with your car because the car will not start even if they have the key or the key fob or another thing you're pumping your gas as long as you have disabled or disconnected your battery, they can't just open the door and then take off with your car because the battery is disconnected. So that's why I thought of making this video and then with this device to help out people out there to prevent this crime from happening to them. And another thing that's so useful for, uh, for uh, having this, uh, especially for me, I travel a lot, so I end up leaving my vehicles unattended. I park it, I leave it, and then when I come back from my trip, it's disconnect or uh, the battery's discharged. So I'll go to the airport, park my car there, fly out, come back three weeks or, or a month, come back, the car won't start. But with this device, which disconnects the battery, the battery will not be drained. It takes about almost a year before the battery will drain with this, according to the sources that I reach out to. So I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare for this, how I prep this, and then I showed you how, I'll show you guys how I So I'm going to go show you guys right now how I prep this device and then how I install it in my truck. So let's go guys.
All right, guys. So I finally um, hand tightened all of this. I, I didn't want to tighten it yet. Once I get to the truck, I will remove the um, negative cable. And then I will place this on the battery. And then I will move this around until I get the right position that I want. Because I have to move this around so that I can reinsert um, the negative cable here. Okay, so once I know and I like the position, I tie up all the nuts and bolts here. And then here, be careful guys, when you tighten this one right here, make sure you don't crack or break the relay. Okay, so make sure everything is tight after, you, after you're sure that, that that's how you want it. And then finally tighten up the, um, the negative cable on here, connected to here, tighten that one last. Okay, and then after that, This negative uh, wire, okay? Connect this one to the negative. You're gonna find uh, like a bolt, unbolt that one, and then bolt this one there. Then last, go to the positive side, unbolt one of the cable there, and then bolt this, this one on. Then make sure everything is all tight. And then, once that's all done, this remote control, you could, once you press on, it will connect the battery and the car will act normal. If you turn it off, it will disconnect the battery.
Lock. Battery off. Remote, no response. Battery on, battery, battery on. Okay, now it's time to start. Let's see what happens. Okay, it won't start. We'll start again. It starts up fine. Next, it's going to tell me to. There you go, open the open then close driver window. So I'm gonna open the driver's window and then close it. And then there's another command. So for the passenger, open and then close. The hood is up because I keep it I kept it open. Now I'll shut it off.
start again. No problem. 